is 2023 there is no reason to be looking like your problem you can't not take care of yourself if you're not taking care of yourself who are you going to take care of you hey guys it's laura welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing my skincare routine because i just washed my face i just took my bath and i decided to shoot a video on the 21 things i have learned in all my 21 years of life so this video is titled 21 lessons at 21 stay tuned and grab your notes anything you want to add let me know in my comment section obviously this is not every single thing i have learned in life but these are just the basic things i feel would benefit everybody like everybody needs to be aware of these things everybody needs to have these lessons let's get right into the video the first has to be that there is no trophy for suffering if you can afford convenience please by all means get it I remember when i was in my first year of uni i would always be saving money like i would rather take a bus instead of a cab if the distance is walkable i'd rather walk i would never you would never catch me buying luxury items things that i ordinarily would get if i was at home just because i wanted to save money and honestly it just made some aspects of my first year very miserable for me because the money will still finish so what are you doing denying yourself things that even if it's a short term satisfaction you will get from it why are you denying yourself that money would always come back that's what i've come to realize so you can afford it get the luxury anything that's going to stress me i am not interested in it second lesson is don't be bothered by anybody that doesn't bother you i know this sounds like huh what are you saying let me let me explain it let me explain it. so don't be bothered by the opinions of you know something in my eye bombastic side eye okay don't be bothered by the opinions of people that don't know you personally because people would always talk that is the thing people would always 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 talk and if you are bothered by every single comment or every single opinion that you are seeing online or you are coming across like you are only going to restrict yourself and you are only going to make yourself sad internally do not let the opinions of people that do not know you to bother you because they don't even have any rights to have an opinion on you they don't know your struggles they don't know what you've been through they don't know what you are going through so why would they even have that right and as human beings we are very audacious you realize they're not supposed to have that right and then you don't let it bother you like do not let it bother i know this is very hard and i know it takes a lot of working towards to not let the opinions of people bother you like people's opinions on your body on what you are doing on your journey like it is very hard not let it bother you but once you crack that code then trust me you are going to be grateful because people would always talk like i've said before people would always always talk so do not let it bother you okay and another reason is that people project a lot so why would you let someone else's insecurities affect the way you look at yourself let's say you post a picture and you are getting or you post a video and you are getting horrible comment about maybe how you look or how you talk or one thing or another just realize that they are probably projecting and when you realize that and see them as insecure you are even going to pity them and you're not even going to let it get to your head there ain't no way boy the third point is don't let your fear be stronger than your will don't let your fear of failing don't let your fear of doing something be stronger than your desire to do that thing i know it's very easy to let our fear of failure limit us like it's the easiest thing once you are able to limit or reduce your fear of failing or reduce your fear of looking stupid then you are going to excel in whatever you are putting your mind to the fourth take pictures capture moments like stop being camera shy stop saying oh i don't 
i don't think i look good enough to take a picture take pictures capture moments because there's nothing more satisfying than going through memory lane like going through pictures old pictures and feeling nostalgic you know reminiscing on how that moment made you feel so happy and so lucky and so blessed and just being grateful that you were able to experience that moment how would you be able to take a walk down memory lane if you don't take pictures to capture those moments math is a math thing so take pictures and it's not weird it doesn't make you weird if you want to capture every single moment i'm sure people are like if you're living in the moment you wouldn't think of taking a picture i disagree if you are living in the moment and you feel like you want to capture this moment forever then you would take a picture to you know look back at it a lot of pictures of my younger siblings that i have and a lot of pictures of myself when i was much younger that snapchat or google would just remind me of that this picture was taken seven years ago and i just feel so happy and so lucky and so blessed that i have access to those pictures and i can look at those pictures and be like wow i have come a long way so yes capture the moment take pictures so my fifth lesson is nobody is taking notes of what you are doing let me give an example now if you're out in public and you slip and fall i know it is really embarrassing but what makes it embarrassing because you feel like people have seen you and people would laugh at you and keep remembering that oh this person fell but that is that is the biggest lie because literally you might be remembering it for weeks for a long time like oh i fell in this public place people might have seen people would have laughed at me they're probably thinking about it trust me they are not thinking about it they probably don't even remember it like 10 minutes later people have what they are going to people have what they are what is stopping them basically they are not going to remember that you fell that you did this that you came out and your coat was rumpled one thing or another they're not going to remember that so don't let people have the power to make you feel embarrassed like if you fall stand up people fall every day like this is normal i don't you didn't fall intentionally this is very normal and trust me nobody's going to remember it nobody's going to remember it you are the only one that remembers it you are the only one my sixth lesson is to have goals and not only have goals it's very easy to have goals but to have goals and consistently work towards them i know that word a lot of people don't like that word consistent but consistently working to your goals increases your chances of success if you are not consistently working towards something how are you even giving that thing the opportunity to bud and grow into what you have in mind going to that big dream that you have for yourself consistently work towards your goals i know it's very easy to be caught up in life and in other things or caught up in your problems or what you're facing or caught up in school or one thing or another but have goals and consistently work towards it it can be small goals it can be big goals the size of the goal should not change the way you work towards it give all your goals the same energy and just watch it blossom and this brings me to my seventh lesson in as much as you should work towards your goal your destination don't not appreciate the journey have your eyes on the goal but also appreciate the journey because there are a lot of things to learn in your journey of becoming what you want to be or achieving what you want to achieve there's a lot to learn and no knowledge is wasted honestly when you pull that knowledge together your experience is, is everything so pick up the lessons to learn along the way pick up the lessons from the journey pick up those little nuggets of wisdom from the journey and it's going to set you up for a more complete success my eighth lesson is that the learning never stops i remember when i was in secondary school let's say junior secondary school and i'm like okay 
once I write my junior work, I'm not going to read again. I'll be done with exams. I'm going to be a senior. I'll be wearing ties. It's going to be stressing me again. When I was done with junior secondary school, I had another set of learning to learn for senior secondary school exams. Like the learning never stops. Even when you are completely done with school, done with masters, done with whatever academic learning you want to learn do other things to learn like the learning literally never stops like sc just scrolling on tiktok i know how much i have learned things i never even knew don't close your mind to learning be open to learning because you are literally learning every day i feel like learning only stops when someone is dead so as long as you are living you are still going to be learning so just embrace the fact that you are learning my ninth lesson is be content with yourself there's no other you god only created you just you. you are unique and you are perfect in god's eyes like don't compare yourself with someone else comparison is really the thief of joy like i hear people saying that every day and it is the truth because you can't compare yourself your journey what you've been through your experiences to someone else's because that is particular to them yours is particular to you so be content with yourself love yourself be content with yourself what else can only love you as much as you love yourself love yourself first that is the most important be content with yourself and like nobody has it all figured out my next point what point is this number 10 i think learn from mistakes not only yours i know it's very easy to learn from your own mistakes learning from other people's mistakes would also protect you from experiences that were never even supposed to be in your path because when you see someone has made a mistake like it is literally the easiest thing to just learn from it learn from someone else's mistake it, you don't have to know the person personally but when someone has made a mistake and openly come out to say okay they have made a mistake and they have done this learn from them. my 11th point is to manage your time it takes a lot of effort to plan your time to allocate your time to particular activities every day it takes a lot of effort it is very hard but it is the most rewarding thing time is really expensive because you can't go back you can make money again if you lose money you can make money again but if you lose time you can't go back and get that time back so plan your time wisely if you know you can do something at this particular time and it's actually going to save you a lot then i suggest you do it and my 12th point my 12th lesson is to take self-care seriously like this is 2023 there is no reason to be looking like your problem you can't not take care of yourself if you're not taking care of yourself who is going to take care of you it's so rewarding to take care of yourself you have a good image it is so therapeutic having self-care days as little as investing in skincare getting groomed getting your nails done doing your hair like self-care is very very important you should not be going out looking like a script you should not be going out looking like what i don't know self-care is very important and it's not just for girls because I keep hearing that masculine men don't do self-care, don't do skincare. And we can tell when you don't take care of yourself. We can tell. And nobody's interested in that. Hygiene is very, very important. It's very inconvenient and inconsiderate to not take care of your hygiene. And you are sharing public spaces with other people. It's not nice. So let's do better get facials get waxes this type of thing can be done once in a while and they are very important but your everyday skincare routine bathing properly brushing your teeth flossing mouthwash all that is non-negotiable so please self-care is very 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 important and you're going to love it so you're going to be more confident in yourself when you know that your self-care is top notch there is skincare there is self-care there is hygiene for every budget you can't say oh you don't have money to find a proper deodorant or a proper perfume because there are deodorants for as little as 500 naira there are perfumes for as little as 2k 
there is no reason for you to see it as something that is not important because firstly and most importantly your body is a temple of god so take care of it cleanliness is next to godliness my 13th point is be financially responsible all the time as my subscriber i'm sure you already know i enjoy a little indulgence here and there you know getting guilty pleasures things to just bring short-term you know short-term satisfaction and all that but there is always a time to do that if you are stuck between getting something that you need urgently and is also important over getting something that is just going to bring you short-term satisfaction then for you to even be considering it you already know what to do so be financially responsible as a young adult you have some sort of responsibility to be financially responsible for yourself so you would avoid stages when you are you know stranded you can allocate the amount of money you're going to spend on this on important things allocate the amount of money you're going to spend on frivolities and trivial things financial responsibility is very 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 important if i could carry a placard on my head and walk around this is the lesson that i would write on that placard prioritize your mental health i feel like in nigeria and in africa mental health is not spoken about enough the mental health is very very important like <laughs> not everybody is okay in the head though taking care of your mental health prioritizing your mental health is very very important because it's only someone that is mentally sound that would be productive yes i know this is very hard for many people to accept but toxic environments toxic relationships toxic friendships cut them off let them go any situation that is affecting your mental health let it go whether it be a job if you're not gaining from that job and you are noticing that it's eating away at your mental health let it go if this particular friendship is always eating at your mental health let it go your mental health is going to thank you your productivity is going to thank you it's very funny to be financially sound be financially okay be physically okay and your mental health is in shambles my 15th point is be your biggest fan coming from someone like me that has been introverted and you know had social anxiety for the longest time trust me when i say once you let go of all that and become your biggest fan your confidence would increase your self-esteem would increase the way you look at yourself like it's going to change everything your aura your energy you even look younger you would look healthier because beauty actually starts from within don't tear yourself down i've been working on you know letting go of negative affirmations like oh my gosh i'm so broke at this point oh my gosh i'm i'm not good at math Oh my god i'm this i'm that i'm that i'm this. working on limiting those phrases or stopping those phrases if possible because they actually have a big effect on your psyche appreciate yourself every time you see a mirror just stop and appreciate your beauty you know tell god how do you slap the way you create any i'm not saying you should be like self-absorbed but be your biggest fan appreciate yourself congratulate yourself because like if you are not congratulating yourself for your you know your achievements all the congratulations from the world does not actually matter it will not get to you like it will not even seem like a big deal to you be your biggest fan but i feel like aside god nobody loves me more than i love me now i couldn't have said i wow i've come a long way i couldn't have said this a few years back but it's never too late to be your biggest fan and trust me once you start loving yourself you start appreciating yourself everybody's going to notice a difference everybody and that way you would also know the things that you can take and things that you can't take energy you will not take disrespect you will not take rubbish once you start seeing yourself as who you are it's going to change a lot about your life both your personal life and your social life your emotional life my 16th lesson is communicate your feelings properly 
and effectively without being derogatory or insultive to whoever you're communicating with. You should be able to communicate your feelings without insulting someone like it tells a lot if you are unable to communicate your feelings without being derogatory or putting someone down like it doesn't even make any sense aside from the fact that it's not a good look on you it doesn't tell well of the person of your upbringing of your background <laughs> some people are not okay in the head oh, don't go and beat someone that will beat you they will beat you 17th lesson is learn and understand your body like god made your body so beautifully and so perfectly and in such a way that your body can actually tell you when something is wrong like let me use myself for an example there are some particular breakouts that in as much as i have hormonal breakouts like my period and all that there are some breakouts that i'll have that i'll be like oh did i eat something that my body does not like there are some types of headaches that i would have on one side of my head or on the other side of my head i'll be like okay i need to sleep this headache is a sleep headache or this headache is dehydration headache or this headache is hunger headache like your body would literally tell you what it needs at every point your body will tell you what it's lacking your body will tell you what it needs your body will tell you what it wants and you need to be able to read those signs understand your body so you can act on it and give your body exactly what it needs at that point it is so so beneficial because imagine your body telling you oh you're dehydrated and then instead you go and sleep like you might even be creating another problem because when you are sleeping your body using up more energy if you are dehydrated and you're going to sleep your body's like sis what are you doing you understand those signs and you act on them then your body will really thank you your health would improve you'll be fisting the hospital less frequently it's really really beneficial my 18th point is lead with empathy a mistake i see people making every day is they see other people as side characters or extras in their own life they don't see these people as main characters in their own lives and that affects how you treat them how you look at people how you relate to people and you end up seeming like a self-absorbed and emotionally unintelligent person stop seeing other people as side characters in your life because they could as well see you as a side character in theirs you now end up treating people really badly funny enough here yeah, as humans we are bound to be self-absorbed once in a while but the ability to call yourself to other and you know apologize to whoever was the recipient of your bad behavior your self-absorption tells more about you you refuse to change your mentality of other people have the lives that they are living then your journey in life eventually it's going to seem really lonely that is a fact and god did not create us to live in isolation my 19th lesson is that your parents are learning to if you haven't noticed your parents weren't given a manual when they became parents like they didn't have a previous life where they already knew okay this is how to act as a parent they didn't know they are also navigating life for the first time too so they are bound to make mistakes as human beings like you and i make mistakes every day like they are bound to make mistakes and you shouldn't you know blame them for these mistakes you shouldn't now like have issues with them for these mistakes because like i said nobody taught them how to be parents they are, they probably learned parenting from their parents and have, nobody also taught their parents how to be parents they are all learning we are all learning they're also doing this life thing for the first time you made a mistake you can easily tell them oh this thing you did hurt my feelings this thing you said hurt my feelings like it would change it and they will appreciate you for telling them and they would not do it again like at least a parent that loves their child would not do something that hurts their child again you understand that they are just learning and everything that they are doing is just because they want the best for you then you would be more understanding and it's going to make their parenting journey much easier it's going to make you guys' relationship sweeter like your parents doting after you blowing up your phone like it's just because they want to know that you're safe it's not because they are like police or anything i remember i used to get irritated by it 
but once i understood that parents just want to know that i am safe at every point just reassure them let them know you are fine and they would appreciate that i pray for them I pray for them to have the strength because parenting is very very hard i know how i think about my siblings every night like hoping praying that they are not getting bullied they are not hurt they are not sad even crying at the thought of them being you know in pain or hurt in any way or any bad thing happening to them so now imagine how their actual parents think about them like your parents are spending every second of every day thinking about your well-being hoping that you are safe hoping that you are fine hoping that you are good hoping that you are happy especially in the climate of the world now where terrible things are happening nowhere is safe like it only makes sense that they would you know tighten up a bit sympathize with your parents work with them you're supposed to be working against them you're supposed to be working with them at every point and it's going to make you more understanding of them like everybody wants to be understood everybody even animals animals want to be understood the 20th point is listen to your instincts i'm sure i'm not the only one that thinks sometimes that little voice at the back of your head or that you know feeling you can't shake off sometimes is the holy spirit once you allow the holy spirit he would tell you everything you need to know he will let you know every single thing that you need to know to avoid you know harm avoid one thing or another and the right decisions to take many times once i get that feeling or that voice in my head to do something or to not do it and i don't act on it like in the way the, the feeling is you know urging me to i end up regretting it later without a doubt i end up always regretting it later so i think i've passed the stage of ignoring that voice because I've learned but when you trust your instincts you will avoid a lot of issues and my last point is hold god tight and never stop praying hmm. see yeah life can be hard life can be difficult life can be confusing life can be stagnant but one thing you shouldn't play with is your relationship with god i grew up in a very catholic household and i am super super grateful for that once i sought god for myself and started cultivating a relationship with him for myself and not because the whole family is going to church like actively sought god for myself like a lot changed and for the better like it is literally crazy because i don't feel like i got prettier like the whole self-esteem you know part where i um, i worked on my self-esteem was actually just prayers and god things have achieved god the things i've been protected from god the things i've gotten to know god the things i've learned like god just arranges your life so well structures your life so well once you give him the permission like look how crazy it is. he created us but he's still giving us the power to give him permission to do what he needs to do in our life like that's that is a very big thing to wrap your head around ever since god became my party like i don't remember the last time i have missed out on something or lost something and i get sad i'm always comforted in the fact that okay god probably saw the bigger picture i was like my daughter this thing is not for you i have something better and stuff for you and i'm always chill with it like okay god saw that this thing is not for me and i'm like okay no problem the one that is for me will come to me god is going to bring the one that is for me to come to me and god will give me the resources to be able to grab onto the one that is for me and honestly that is such a wonderful way to look at life you know sweetest guy nobody can contend with that so that brings me to the end of my video my skincare is done i am set for the day and those are the 21 lessons i have learned as a 21 year old if you enjoyed this video please let me know smash the like button comment you know if there's something you want to add let me know in the comment section if you want to just share your your own lessons or question me about some lessons let me know in the comment section whatever it is let me know if you've not already subscribed 
please subscribe share this video share to a friend see you next sunday i love you for watching bye